Welcome back to Take Apart. In this video, I will test Baofeng UV5RH. Output power and spurious RF emissions with Tiny SA Ultra Spectrum Analyzer. For this job, is attenuator necessary? This is 40 dB attenuator. This Type N to SMA adapter is also handy, along with this quality cable with Type N and SMA connectors. All testing equipment came from eleshop.eu. ELE Shop.eu has everything you will ever need from hobby to full blown professional equipment. They are shipping worldwide, so make sure to check them out. And also use coupon code TAKEAPART5 at checkout to get 5% discount on selected devices. So for measuring output power, we have to set frequency range. I'll do start at 130 M as megahertz and stop at 600 megahertz. Now this is my range. Next I'll do menu back level unit and select what as measuring unit also menu external gain or x gain has to be set as we have attenuator attached so negative 40 times 1 and all is set Baofeng UV5RH. It should have 10 watts of transmitting power. So let's look at it. Lowest TXP at 160 MHz shows 2.09 watts. PMR frequency shows 2.14 watts and FRS GMRS is at 2.09 watts. Again, I'll put TXP in the middle, as this radio has three settings, low, middle and high, and 160 MHz shows 6.04 watts. FRS, GMRS frequency is on 4.21 watts, and PMR shows 4.87 watts. Let's move on strongest settings. For this radio, and test 160 megahertz first. It shows only 8.59 watts. So PMR frequency now. Whoa, I have seen 11 watts for a brief moment. That's great. So indeed, it has 10 watts of power. Last FRS GMRS is on 7.6 watts. So not too bad. For measuring spurious RF emissions, we have to set a couple of things menu, config, more, and here enable ultra. This requires code for some reason. So the code is 4321 and hit enter. Now we have a range up to 3 gigahertz. Menu, back, back, measure. And here, harmonics. I'll transmit on 160 M S megahertz. Use full span, so zero and hit times one. Menu, marker, and here I'll choose eight markers. Here we go, they just appeared. All eight of them. Now, make sure to set negative 40 dB attenuator. So let's see how clean is its signal. Transmitting on 160 megahertz at full power. And oh boy, here we have three extra signals picked up. And neither of them is lower than 40 dBm from primary signal. Second is on 320 megahertz at negative 11 dBm. Third on 481 megahertz at negative 7 dBm. It is actually stronger than second signal. And and fourth signal on 640 MHz at negative 26 dBm's. This renders radio dirty, as its spurs are way stronger than required. So this radio is not good, as spurious emissions has to be apparently at least 40 dB lower than primary signal. Make sure to subscribe, check out eleshop.eu and use my coupon code to get 5% discount. Links are in description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.